Hello and welcome to episode 88 of Thinking Outside the Pod. I'm Jimmy. I'm Jason. And I'm Brandy. Hmm. I, I usually, whenever I meet people, I'm like, I'm probably not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to enjoy this interaction. I'll, I'll, I'll tolerate this person for now <laughs> until I have the means to destroy them. You know, in a few years when they make a movie about this, that's how they're going to spin it. They'll make Benghazi a person. Start buying canned food and bottled water. We're all going to die. I don't think food and water are going to help you in an extinction-level event. Well, I mean, and dig a hole in your backyard. <laughs> well, if you just make dig a, a hole, you'll be fine. <laughs> dig a hole. Cover, the, cover yourself in the dirt. <laughs> Right, episode 88 special guest brandy Hi. hello say say hello to all the people listening around the world hello to all the people listening around the world <laughs> oh generally about 100 of you every yeah. couple of weeks <laughs> yes uh, we'll just say Still. one from like how many countries are there with is there no. like 250 or something <laughs> like you're that? asking or, the wrong oh, guy oh man you <laughs> should probably know that <laughs> Yeah, that kind of knowledge yeah. I probably learned for like one quiz in as like middle school. As far as I'm school. concerned, <laughs> there's only one country. Yes, only one first world country <laughs> and all the rest are third world. No. Yep. <laughs> wow. <Yeah>, Un-American. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, but so, yes. uh, yeah, Brandy, why don't you just give us a quick quip about yourself? Quip? Yes, I don't a have a quip. quip. Like prepared. make fun of yourself? Isn't a quip like a, a <laughs> like one liner yeah, that makes fun? Like me. <laughs> I've already like I've already established that there's only one country in the world. Uh, allow <laughs> me to misuse some words as well. <laughs> okay. <yeah. laughs> no, by quip I mean a, a short biography <laughs> about yourself, not the actual meaning of the word. Uh, <laughs> I really don't know what you guys want because I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no problem. Well, I mean, we both just kind of woke up today. We're like, oh, we're going to record. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, I mean. you've been friends with Jason since high school? Uh, we met in 2009. We weren't friends. <laughs> no. Into, <at laughs> until all. years later. The dire. <laughs> we the dire we hated enemies. each other. <laughs> oh, well, that's, I'm still at that level with Jason. I've not gotten too. gotten you'll, past. You'll, <laughs> you'll you'll come around. It'll someday. <laughs> it, it, well, Jimmy, I actually think I've known you longer than I've known her. I think I've known you for going on ten years now. It's been. Where did yeah. we meet? I don't. Uh, Madison. I was a, I was a freshman in two thousand five. So yeah, it was yeah. Must have been years. high school, but yeah. Was it other friends? Like was yeah, it? I, well, I think I met Carlos first. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Carlos. Okay. Man, you guys are awful. Huh. <laughs> I don't remember how I meet people. I just people say they know me, and I'm just like, all right, I'll just go with you that. You know, it's like every day I wake up and meet a new person, but I just know <laughs> down in my gut, like this guy's all right. He's not gonna bother me. Huh. Yeah, it's one of those things. Hmm. I, I usually, whenever I meet people, I'm like, I'm probably not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna enjoy this interaction. I'm, I'll, I'll I'll tolerate this person for now <laughs> until I have the means to destroy them. Well, Not really. I'm kidding. I don't want I am very nice to everybody. <laughs> that deserves my nice. Well, Jimmy, don't you have a question to ask us? Huh? About our weeks? Did we do anything with our Oh, week? yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> how was y'all's last week? Uh, or Brandy could, I guess, since last lifetime, your past lifetime. My past lifetime. <laughs> have you done anything yeah. amazing or not amazing? Not at all. I started back at my other job, so I've just been... Doing the dang thing. Yeah, jobs. Yeah. Necessary evil. Jobs. Yeah, Steve Jobs was a necessary evil. Uh, ah. I guess. Yeah. I don't know how necessary he was. I heard that new movie <laughs> yeah. they made about him was not good. I I like Aaron Sorkin, the guy who made it. Mm -hmm. I like his stuff. Didn't he also do uh, Social Network? He did Social Network. West Wing, who's kind of made, a, yeah. made his name known to people he, his famous like walk and talk that's like whenever you see that in a show that's a reference to something that he made up like where people are like walking down a hall like it's in the west wing it was like the president and like his assistant or whatever and walking down a hallway and then like just talking back and forth while walking that's kind of the aaron sorkin calling card hmm. so anytime you see that in a movie anytime in a comedy it's making fun of that because he uses it all the time 
<laughs> just like no establishing shots. Yeah. <laughs> just an entire movie of walk and talk. This is a walk and talk down a hallway. <laughs> just it's like, what? I don't think in the White House there's that long a ho- of a hallway. <laughs> They're yeah. just walking around. It's just a big circle. <laughs> yeah. That, that, <laughs> if it's I, a giant track. If I were to do a parody, it would be, I, I would just have someone just like. Well, there, I mean, there probably is now with, like, you know, Michelle Obama's like eat healthy campaign she probably just like had a track installed inside the white house <laughs> to like yeah. trick people into exercising <laughs> she's like she someone comes up to her and she's all like sitting down at her desk and they're, they're like i have something really important it's like all right well let's get to the conversation track <laughs> and, and then just force them to run <laughs> <laughs> well i imagine just someone like new working there walking around and says we use on up op- and like even in, uh, yeah, on even days, we use this track. Like we go in this direction. Like what the <laughs> hell is this? <laughs> There's like all these. <laughs> like I got lost in the gym. Like we don't have a gym here. <laughs> this whole building this, is a this, gym. This whole build. You lost in the gym. You mean the building? Yeah. The entire building? And like the president's secret bunker. It's like five miles underground. They have to take steps down it. Yeah, they, <laughs> they got rid really of the elevator. Time. <laughs> steps <laughs> only. No more elevators. Michelle, we really don't have time for this. <laughs> <laughs> There's always time for health. Says God damn it. Michelle. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. Oh, Michelle, <laughs> he says that about her. <laughs> Maybe that's where it came from, is that he's just really upset with his wife. And he just anonymously went out and said, Thanks, Obama. And everyone just thought it was. Like, my wife him. burnt the pot roast. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> That'd be a like, funny He was being legitimate. <laughs> he's being serious. That would be a pretty and funny we all thing. just though. made a joke about it. <laughs> it's actually marital problems, and we're just all <laughs> laughing about it. <laughs> Oh, the first that's... family doesn't have problems. <laughs> They're perfect. Um, but all right, well, we started talking about political <laughs> stuff. Might as well get into get into that uh, hornet's know, I'm nest. I'm just gonna run with that. I think I like that idea. <laughs> yeah, why not? It's you always hear hear those. Let's now let's get back off track. Those memes, like how did the meme start? It's mm-hmm. always funny to kind of like theorize about that kind of stuff. And because they they've had oh, the I'll, those I'll stories. Have to, I'll have to go make it behind the behind the gif behind the meme. Yeah. Um, but all right, now back to the segue that I did. Um, political <laughs> stuff. I mean, so the, the I guess seg- the biggest <laughs> news, well, not the, like big news that happened. Joe Biden said he's not running for president, which I guess surprised a lot of people because he was he was like one I of the know big who was surprised. Well, well, he was like leading in all the polls before. Well, not leading, but he was really high up in the polls. Not even announced that he's running. I find that absolutely ridiculous. Like he hasn't even said he's going to run or anything. And there's like we're going to vote for him anyway. Well, like, I guess at that point they he didn't say he wasn't going to run. Like he's going to be the president whether he likes it or not. Damn it! Hey, everyone still writes writes in <laughs> just Joe write, Biden. Just writes in Joe Biden as what? Well, I guess candidate. I guess you can just say no, thank you, right? Like if that happened, they can't force you to be the president if you win the election. Uh, that, well, I guess you can. I mean, it's happened to me a couple times and. I've had, I've okay. had to turn it down. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, you haven't been forced to become president because well, you've no, never I been president. It, I turned it down, but you've never won an election to be president. Well, that would have been, been announced on, none somewhere. None has been on TV. <laughs> like just the, the sheer amount of money involved to run for president. I know, and I didn't like, get any of it. Oh God! <laughs> well, no, if they don't pay you to run for president. You'd have to pay out right. to, be, to be have run to for president. To get people to give you millions of dollars. What kind of country is this? That's true. Capitalist one. I <laughs> Sorry, politician man. politicians. Well, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. Very. It's our political process isn't good. I, I don't think. But, but yeah. I mean, I'm not entirely surprised he didn't do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, uh, what was it? Wasn't it this year that he lost his son? His, it was very yeah. recent. Yeah. Yeah. Must yeah pretty been, yeah. recently. Yeah. So I mean, I imagine he's still grieving yeah. over that. Oh yeah. Uh, and definitely. I imagine he still will be, will be for years to come. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I I can't say I'm wholly surprised. Yeah, I because I mean, it was getting to the point where they were gonna just force him out anyway if he didn't announce he was gonna run. Really? I think I think force him out of what? Not out of uh, wasn't that the issue is that if he didn't like after the first couple debates that if he didn't make a make a bid that they were just like no you have like literally no chance of running now. Oh yeah, probably. I'm sure there was just like sit there with your thumb up your butt and like maybe i will maybe i won't like mm-hmm. he, uh, he's been kind of doing timely, that for the past eight years thing, but it, yeah. he has been through a lot mm-hmm. yeah this year yeah so no i don't i don't blame him and plus who i i can't imagine the kind of per- well i i know of several people now that want to be president who would want to be president president presidency sucks uh, everyone 
hates the person that whoever like l- at least half the population will hate that person oh, yeah, for what, some other for reason him, and then like two years later like i hate this guy or why did we do <laughs> this know. like i don't and i don't think any of well i don't know i'm not much into politics but i stay out of them mostly but yeah, the yeah. The, the usual feeling about whenever someone brings up the presidency is like, why are you bringing up this topic? <laughs> no well, one's gonna. Like no one likes when like you, you talk about keep this. Your friends like don't talk about religion or politics. Yeah. Know? But I mean, I heard uh, Brandy's favorite person, Hillary Clinton. You know, she, she came out relatively unscathed God. this past week. <laughs> oh, uh, you not like her? No. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> not like is a not strong enough a word no. oh i i really don't know much about her other than she was she is bill clinton's wife and she's running for president i don't really know she's democrat i guess right right yeah and she made an email server uh for her own and probably sent various terroristic threats to people for <laughs> using it right is that what she did threats, and but like the whole subscribed. like benghazi trial thing i mean she's what is that what what is that about? With, with the, the benghazi. she's the benghazi's informed, a country she's is that a country <laughs> 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 or is that out someone's two, last name that's one of those 250 countries that we said. <laughs> <laughs> what are you all right talking about? now we now we know <laughs> no, two countries <laughs> the united states and benghazi yeah. is it not yeah. is it a city uh, is it's it like someone's or- last name? It's like an organization. <laughs> okay. It's an acronym. <laughs> it's an acronym. <laughs> we can make it an acronym. Let's make it up right now. Uh, I need a pen and paper. <laughs> uh, the long story short, um, she's pretty much directly responsible for a lot of death, mm-hmm. um, for doing things that she shouldn't have been doing in the first place, for doing things that she specifically kept, like she made sure that nobody was keeping a record of it. Oh, okay. So that's why she went to trial. Like, uh, so did you do this? Because we're pretty sure you did this. Mm-hmm. And then she keeps saying that she didn't. She didn't do it. Oh, okay. And what? What is so she? Like what normal, is she? Is she a like a normal criminal? Is she a secretary of something? Secretary uh, of defense. She was secretary of state. Wasn't secretary she? of she state. She was. I'm gonna look that up so we don't sound like a holes talking about. It. <laughs> you know, well. I think it's a little too late. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, well. I thought Ben Ghazi was a guy named anyway. Benjamin Ghazi. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was a whole other. <laughs> killed four guys and they just let him loose. <laughs> <laughs> she she helped him escape. Is that what she helped him? She helped him with the murders. You know, <laughs> Hillary and Ben. She has her own website. You know, in uh. a few years when they make a movie about this, that's how they're gonna spin it. They'll make Benghazi a person, <laughs> 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 and she just like uh, yeah, Benjamin. She just ben- like uh, she was like the security guard on duty and just like fell asleep and she took the keys <laughs> like completely. <laughs> like, and we like in the beginning of the movie, it's be like <laughs> this story is based on true <laughs> events. It's like technically they were based on true events. We just fudged the <laughs> fudge those. They just never tell you the location. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's somewhere. <laughs> Damn it, <laughs> Officer Clinton. <laughs> and let Benghazi get away. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to trial. No, I never knew Benghazi. Um, <laughs> Free to go. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're president. Uh, I don't, uh, well, what okay. A leap. <laughs> I assume every person that is a politician has done some shady stuff, but I guess. Allowing I mean, death to person, happen. Every every person ever has done something shady. I've never done anything shady. I'm pretty sure you have. A I past. live in the light of pure, <laughs> pure light. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> she's laughing because you, she knows you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> just, she like she does. She doesn't that's all, even. That's all I know. There's. She doesn't even know you, and she's like, "He's full <laughs> of shit." <laughs> well, I I do. I my voice is that deep. That's exciting. <laughs> I I do like. Not going out, but that doesn't mean I am shady. Metaphorically, it literally <laughs> means you're shady. <laughs> literally, it means I'm shady, but metaphorically, I'm not shady. I don't. I don't do. I'm not. I don't think I'm a bad person. But I'm not saying I you're a bad person. I'm. A, but everybody has done something bad in their life. I haven't. That is an absolute lie. <laughs> well, you for the ba- for this for podcast, twenty six years. <laughs> yeah. What have you known that I've done bad? I don't know. I didn't know you. You like know me. First, I didn't know you like the first eighteen years of your life. I, yeah, but then for the ten years that you've known me, or whatever you said. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not with you all the time. <laughs> I assume you're I murdering you people do. whenever you're not with me. <laughs> <laughs> I assume everyone I know is just out there murdering, and <laughs> yeah, I might be sitting next to two potential but, serial killers. But yeah, so 
yeah, so politicians, I think all of them are pretty shady. I there's not one really I like. I like the thing that I've started saying to myself is I wouldn't vote for anyone that wants to be a politician or something like that or wants to be elected. So is that why you're going to vote for Trump? No, that's why I'm going <laughs> to <Shit. I'm, laughs> That's why I'm going to That's Oh no, we <laughs> we uncorked. Oh no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I I wouldn't vote for Trump if I but I'm going to just continue not to vote. Mm. I I don't vote and I will not vote. Brandy's Brandy, 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 looking, looking at me. Brandy's looking at me. It's your civic duty. Uh. No, it's, it's crap. Uh, I guess public opinion poll doesn't really do anything as far as the like presidential elections go. Yeah. Because we vote for the Electoral Rep- College. And the yeah. Electoral and then the Electoral College, college does whatever the hell they want. Yeah, yeah pretty they, much. Yeah, they pretty should much. do what we tell them, but then they could not. I, there hasn't been a case where they haven't, right? I, I'm Every just surprised election. that Hillary's like just come out unscathed from this whole thing. If anything, her numbers have probably gone up mm-hmm. since. Uh, since well, she her big her big uh, uh, opponent is Sanders, right? Bernie, yeah, Sanders. Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders. And I think he's still trailing by like ten or twenty points. She or something. is leading on the on the Democratic side. Mm-hmm. There was a. I mean, but at the same time, it's it's like the preseason, man. Like everything's uh, everything's gonna be sloppy. It's yeah. Just, when, because it's 2016 is the Correct. the the year yep. whenever her, the presidency starts or the election happens, and then it will start it's the election year, and then they get sworn in in the 17. Okay. Eh. All right. So there's time. My <laughs> my opinions are still forming, but then again, I like I said, I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna vote. I but the thing is, I try to stay out of political stuff because I don't vote. And like, who am I to complain about stuff? So if you don't, that, that's a valid point. Yeah. So I don't know. I'm not. I'm. I stay out of that. I was born in a family of retailers, like people, like salesmen. <laughs> so I it's like. It's like keep someone else is always right. <laughs> it's like yeah, your your religion and your political uh, party is whatever you're trying to sell that person. Like whatever you're yeah. selling that person. Like huh. if the if the customer oh, if the customer is uh like. I'm, <laughs> it's like, I'm also <laughs> celebrating Yom Kippur. <laughs> yes, <laughs> or you just don't. Well, you just keep don't bring the, it up. Like, yeah, uh, if they if they're like, like huge like republic like Republican people was like, yep, I am that as well. <laughs> how now? How about this TV? <laughs> Go <laughs> Buy red. this one from me. <laughs> <laughs> this has great red levels. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Like, are you just going to, do you keep like an emergency yarmulke in your back pocket? <laughs> well, no, if it's something I know nothing, like I can BS pretty much about any, anything to up to a point, but if it's not something I know even a little about, I change the subject. Like, it's like, nope, I've never heard of that religion. So I'm not going to talk about it. Let's not, I'll just say, yep, that's, yeah, that's good for your that thing <laughs> well, but, i guess uh, it'd be good that you're reserved about it like you don't come like out in front of it yeah no i usually try to keep it all under wraps because i really have no political interest but trump is surprising because he's doing so well like <laughs> it, like that's always been a joke like trump's always been a joke or well do you i like mean trump? that was the thing no, no you don't like, like trump. well the, the thing the reason that donald trump is getting so much attention in this is because all the republicans are like oh he's he's talking about about issues that nobody else wants to talk about he's he's breaking ground it's like no no it's it's all shock value yeah Yeah. like he said nothing about any of his actual policies just that he doesn't like mexicans Mm -hmm. like (laughs) come on man no yeah he's like like mad about china they're taking our jobs it's like yes (laughs) our germs they're not um yeah I, i i like that someone who's not a politician is doing so well. I just hate that it's Trump. I wish it was someone else. Like, like any other human being like, on the planet. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson or Bill Nye. It, like I wish I someone, wouldn't vote for, for either one of those uh, guys. Other than uh, well, the, Carson, Tyson's uh, isn't views on Pluto. Isn't politician Who? Carson? Who's that? Ben Carson? Oh, yeah. Ben, yeah, he's a, he, he's a lawyer. Isn't he a non-politician? No, he's too? a doctor. He's, he's a, a doctor. neurosurgeon. It doesn't yeah, mean he's, he's a, a politician. Yeah, no, no, that's... No, <laughs> I I'm he because he's Cause shit, that's who's must, that must be he's a great re, is deal. he Republican yes Ben Carson yeah, yeah. so yeah. he's Trump's biggest opponent right now right. Right. he's he's the one that's leading the polls mm-hmm. right after Trump 
Yeah, so that's good. That's good that both. I was say that's a pretty good deal, though. You get your PhD, and like, congratulations, you're now part of Congress. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I'm glad. Great. Like, I, 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 I think all politicians should be able should be smart. Like, they should be able to pass an IQ test and be be competent. Like, I, like that's <laughs> I, I, because I live in the country that they'll run the one day run. Like, yeah. <laughs> like I don't want someone fool me once, yeah. shame on you. <laughs> fool me, you can't. You can't fool me twice. <laughs> so, right, yeah. The test is, how many other countries are there in the world? <laughs> Dang it. What? <laughs> we have three non-presidential <laughs> candidates right here. We've... Um, but, but yeah, so... I mean, so I, good, uh, good for non-politicians running. I guess Carson would be better than... Well, yes, Carson would be better than Trump. Because I don't like Trump. Maybe as a better human being. I mean, but... Uh, policies still aren't oh, yeah. really widely I mean, we're, known we're not, yet. We're, so we're not... We're not doing great as far as candidates go. I mean, Bern- Bernie Sanders says a lot of nice things that appeal to people of my generation, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, cheaper college? Oh, yeah, of course. I would love mm-hmm. to go to school cheaper. Uh, where were you when you I was know. going to college, though? <laughs> I'm, uh, now I don't care he about says that. A, he says a lot of nice free. words, but I think he's he's way too much of an idealist to win. Yeah. And I think he's he's speaking to the largest portion of our population. He's like, once I get in there, screw it. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's going to win. Unfortunately, I, it's going to come down to, I, I think it's probably going to come down to Carson and Hillary at the at the end. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, they're the pride. I would think that as well. Because I, I think eventually Trump's going to say something that they aren't going to be able to spin off of him. Mm-hmm. Like even even the GOP makes fun of Trump. Yeah. yeah. Like. <laughs> That's his party. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, th- there goes Donnie again. Like, yeah, so Damn I- it, Donnie. <laughs> exactly. So what, like, you always hear that whenever, like, because Trump in one of the debates said that he would, he might run as an independent, uh, as an independent, as an independent <laughs> if he doesn't get the I don't live with my uh, parents. I'm an Republican vote, right? Yeah. So right there, that's going to, like, if all the supporters of Trump are still there during the election, that's going to split the vote for the Republican, leading to a Democratic win, right? That's how and, politics yeah, works. Yeah, and chances are the Republicans that are right now like, oh, yeah, Trump, once he decides to run as an independent, they're going to be like, vote for him. Oh, yeah, the other Republican. Oh, like, well, they might. Sw- yeah, that's the surprise. I mean, especially because most Republicans tend to be. Like they've been Republicans their whole lives because their dad was Republican mm-hmm. and their mom was Republican and mm-hmm. they- well yeah that's well I think most people that are political follow their parents like eventually follow their parents whatever their parents were I think that's the biggest indicator of political affiliation is your parents and I think that's terrifying because so many people are just making this decision based on what they're told instead of going out there and well, doing like, research and i look better in blue so i'm vote, i'm gonna vote democrat well i mean <laughs> it's it's the whole idea of i mean it kind of goes in hand in hand with like career politicians is that you're fighting for ideals that you wanted when you were younger but they don't necessarily apply to how the world is now yeah and so you know when parents vote thinking like oh i'll vote for this guy because i think he's going to do great things for me mm-hmm. that's not going to necessarily do great things for his children once they get over and have to live with these decisions mm-hmm. that are made for them yeah no that's true that's that's the uninformed populations are the worst well, like that's like, damn it sally <laughs> <laughs> you know? well yeah we're paying for the mistakes that our great great grandparents elected and stuff like that like well, maybe not that far back, but well, I think our great great grandparents were probably didn't have much say, considering they're probably in Europe shooting Nazis. Might as well say great great grandfathers. Yeah, no, <coughs> yeah. that's. That, I mean, <coughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. Damn it! Because um, women couldn't. Oh, yeah, yeah that that's whole, sad. That whole thing. <laughs> What? That never happened. Silly. What? <laughs> Come on. Come guys. on. We need to rewrite those textbooks. That never Damn happened. That never <laughs> happened. <laughs> History well, didn't. I think that was a story they rewrote some textbook calling uh slaves from Africa this like Oh, they were indentured uh, servants. Yeah. Indentured yeah. Servants. yeah I, 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 the vo- like that volunteers or something, something <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. No, they, they were, were uh, just indentured servants. They yeah. Were forced volunteers. <laughs> well, I mean, we're in like it's, it's like uh, whenever you hear, yeah. hear like things like that, it's Texas that 
This is no, rewriting. No, that, that was Texas. Yeah, it's it's yeah. always we're the number one buyer of textbooks. So if we decide to change a fact, like pretty much the entire country has yeah. to go with it because textbook companies cater to Texas. <laughs> which it, it I like it because I'm Texan, but I also don't like them. I did. I just like making dumb things. It's kind of like the idea of you go to like a free event or something. It's like, oh, we're do, we don't charge, but please make a donation. Like if you get there and they hold a gun to you, like make a donation. <laughs> like that's what it seems to me. Is like, oh, they volunteered to get on the boat. Like they were oh. like, like what are those? Are those chains? Can I use those? <laughs> well, <laughs> this will really keep me like securely to the side of the yeah, ship. Man, this that ship I don't is want to be super on. rocky. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Ah. Thank you, Captain for providing us safety restraints um yeah and no that's that's belt. ridiculous <laughs> yeah. and that's how seat belts came to america that's absolutely awful. yeah all the like that's dumb like changing history that much is is well is i mean dumb. it's already happening mm-hmm. like oh uh, i mean even here in san antonio like uh conf- like uh, robert e lee high school they're gonna change the name because of robert e lee and yeah, confederate statues I mean, being taken down and things like that I, they're changing the name of, of lee i it's still it's still in debate right now that they're gonna change the name of robert e lee high school and what it, so else. you i but i i kind of see the points of some of those people i mean it could go too far like if you if you're destroying like the history of it, then yes, that's bad. But well, I mean, it's also celebrating someone the that leaps and bounds that we've come from that point. Like with the yeah. whole taking the the Confederate flag down in South Carolina, I completely supported it because yeah. it's it's a, people were using it as a crutch for their hate. Yeah, like even when they were taking it down, I mean, it was completely divided, mm-hmm. and it was all these crazy like skinhead white people mm-hmm. screaming at, at at black people, mm-hmm. calling them monkeys, and all this other crazy, just yeah. ridiculous shit. And it's like mm-hmm. that's the stuff that has to end. Yeah, and and those those symbols are perpetuating that kind of stuff. So why not get rid of them? So I agree with that on that point. Well, I mean, just put them in a museum. Like, I don't that's, think, like, and that's I what, don't think like destroying, right. that's why I was saying like destroying it be, is bad. Would, they, and right, they aren't like the, the statue that was taken down. Like there's a, there's a, a Confederate statue and also the Confederate flags and stuff. Like the flag that they took down from that, uh, South Carolina stuff that's going into a Confederate museum, mm-hmm. which of course don't get rid of it. We need to still learn from that kind of stuff. But, why celebrate something that has bad feelings attached to it? Like with the, of your citizens, why, why be so dumb as to do that? Like, it's like, (laughs) don't be dumb. It's, it's, it's like having, having like a, a swastika flag on your city hall and saying that no there's nothing attached to that that's just our flag it's like of course <laughs> there's there's feelings attached to that it's well i think that's also illegal in most countries not here i bet yeah. freedom of speech baby yeah like well no i mean and and it's it's fine if if you're the landowner and you're you don't have any if you're and it's not like a city hall or anything you can do whatever you want you can you can do that. It's it is freedom of speech. Right. You can you can still raise your own Confederate flag mm-hmm. in your yard. You can but still on, fly one from your house. But, but on public publicly right, owned right government, <laughs> gotta put my flag. Out. Yeah, I, I wouldn't do that. Now that I know it's not illegal, <laughs> you well, guys know where you live, right? And, and this is and this is partly owned by me. It's like so. I hope my neighbors don't see it. <laughs> but but government owned facilities and like things like that can't do that kind of stuff because. We, the people, matter in this government. Hopefully, like, you I, might want to try a little harder to sell that line. <laughs> I know. Well, I just know. I just well, know. Well, it's, we know, <laughs> so we can't. Yeah, I wish. I wish I could. I wish I could believe that, but whatever. But I mean, uh, speaking of what was it? Uh, Trump's presidency. Yeah. Wasn't this predicted back in like 1985 or something that he might run? Probably. I'm probably. I'm probably sure that he's said like some crazy things all the time like <laughs> he's just trump, that's just that's trump that's trump's mo was that some sort of convoluted back to the future reference yeah i was trying to segue ah. into it but i <laughs> got distracted i got it <laughs> hooray back to the future day was this past week. yeah and october 21st 2015 yes the day that doc brown and, and Marty mcfly and his girlfriend future. went to the future his girlfriend was there 
Yeah. She did. She was uh, knocked out. She was knocked out. Yeah. yeah. I just watched a documentary about that movie, and they're like, if we were planning on doing sequels, we would have never brought the girlfriend because <laughs> yeah, that was <laughs> just a bad. Idea. That was. That was just. Yeah. They had. Yeah. They did nothing with her. They like knocked her out and threw her in an alleyway. Yep. And that was. That was her plot in Back to the Future too. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, it's Back to the Future Day. That's cool. One of my favorite. It, uh, 2015 series. is not as glamorous as what they predicted. Yeah, which is always how future things are envisioned. Like it, they never. Well, sometimes they do. They think the future is bad, but they always. If it's a if if it's a comedy or a positive movie, the future is going to be good. But we do have hoverboards. They're hinky, but yeah. we have them. No, yeah, they Nike got, made the self-tying shoes mm-hmm. for just twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, well, they, they never had a price a tag. They never they're had a price a tag in the movie. They could be crazy expensive in that future. Well, as it's well. also because like Doc Brown pretty probably stole those shoes <laughs> to give them to Marty, <laughs> and like he has that like binder full of bills. Like, mm-hmm. did he like rob banks? <laughs> As he's time traveled, maybe I don't know. Like Seems we're almost, <laughs> like we well, almost caught up to him. In the he, third he one, he invented off. an ice machine, so he probably like in I guess in the future stuff, he's kind of out of place. But maybe, maybe Doc Brown. Like, there's been like fan, well, I mean, fan uh, theories that he's a psychopath anyway. So <laughs> it could be that he's well. What? So we we have hoverboards. We have self tying shoes. They got a lot of stuff right. There's the Cubs, movies. The Cubs almost won. The mm-hmm. World Series, almost. Yeah. We'll, we'll call. Almost. We'll just call that a mulligan. Yeah, yeah. They, they got. <laughs> Maybe next time. The Cubs uh, still existed in the, that future, and they right? ex- in, exist in this well, future. They have like a FaceTime thing. Yeah, the yeah the video conferencing and stuff that totally. There, there is a severe lack of fax machines. Yes, but age. you could also say instant messaging is. Well, it's not thing. as instant though. I mean, you still have to get. I know. Well, no. Yeah. In the thing, like he said, he was fired, and instantly all those faxes came out. Like, uh, I mean, so it's been, instant it's been messaging. Such a long time since I've inst- seen it. Instant messaging exists nowadays. Did you watch it on Wednesday? No. Well, I watched clips of it because they were doing stuff about it at work. Yeah. Like, all day. I tried really hard to watch it, but I got really stoned and I fell asleep like 20 minutes into it. Well, see, don't so. call me out for not watching it and you didn't <laughs> hey, even watch it. I did. I really tried. I, no, you didn't. I have been you working didn't do it if you tried. all day. <laughs> if you tried to do it and didn't do it, it doesn't mean you did it. I started, damn it. <laughs> like you got to the... Dun, dun. So I got to his girlfriend being like drug around the alley. And I was like, oh, gone. No more. Yeah, and what Brandy's else? Uh, like 3D movies. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, I mean, those there's no Jaws. Ex- there's no Jaws 19. Yeah, they, yeah, they <laughs> kind of missed the boat on that. They got up to three. I see you know. what you did there. Oh, they kind of missed. The, I see what <laughs> I, I see what I unintentionally did. Uh, um, there's, there's, I guess Pepsi Perfect is a thing too. Yeah, they made they it. They brought it back. They made it just um, for, ju- yeah, yeah, just for this. Mm-hmm. Like such a fuss. Well, that there, over- was that a such a thing. Was that ever a product? Pepsi Perfect. They made it like specifically, just for the movie. yeah, right, yeah, specifically okay. for this. Uh, um, it's not even really an anniversary. It's just like a made-up holiday, I think. Yeah, that happens like once. Shits and giggles day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, like how does it feel to know that this day will never ever happen again? Mm-hmm. Like your birthday comes around once a year and all that, but now like this day's gone, never will happen again. Yeah, until they re- remake the movies <laughs> and they uh, put in a different oh, day. Yeah, that, that different day. They, they, they travel back. Thirty. Mm-hmm. Shit. They travel back in time to yeah. <laughs> October 21st, 2015. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see this again. <laughs> this, is like, Man, this is a lot different. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. and the, the fashion's not quite there yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there is some weird fashion. That was the coolest part about Back to the Future 2. It's like everybody was, it was like they were still wearing 80s clothes, yeah. but it was like how somebody today would dress if they were like <laughs> trying to do an 80s thing, but it's 80s in the future, so it's all full circle. It's great. Well, they, it, it seems to me like they just like cut different pieces of 80s clothing, then stitched it back with other pieces, and we're like, this is how it's going to look, right? Because it's the future. <laughs> yeah. Future, we don't make stuff. We just recycle. <laughs> they've, they've run out of... Uh, we ran, we run out of farmland, so we couldn't. Can't, we don't have any more cotton, so we just have to reuse old clothes and just stitch them together. Time to go back to the past. <laughs> Nobody was twisted enough to think up skinny jeans. Yeah, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> well, I mean, even today though, no if one forces only. you to wear skinny jeans. Society, society <laughs> does, man. <laughs> Society. society. This is why Always I can, bringing the girl down. This is why I continue not to wear skinny jeans. 
Because <laughs> you're a rebel. That's also because society tells me not to. <laughs> <laughs> so you are. You are. If you did, society would be like, nah, bro. Nah. Nah. And decent exposure, bro. <laughs> um, let's see. What else What else happened? Uh, well, the, like uh, gas station robots. They, they had that in Back to the Future 2. And robotic stuff is happening nowadays with uh, yeah automation and stuff I, like that. I remember so. when I saw a clip of it it was um, it was a Texaco gas station mm-hmm. and the person that was standing near me said god do you even see Texaco's anymore I'm like there's one right up the street yeah yeah no they still exist <laughs> Texaco is still a thing <laughs> uh, indoor gardens that's the thing Google Glass they yeah, had Google Glass they had uh, heads like headsets we don't, in there. we don't quite have the same uh, dehydration tech that they do yeah, no, that would be cool if they did. Well, I mean, we the do, military but. and NASA probably has it, but we don't. Well, I mean, dehydration is a thing, but like <laughs> putting like a mini pizza in a microwave <laughs> won't give us a full pizza. No. Yet, but that would food be industry. Dope. <laughs> yeah. Get on that. My favorite thing about like that kind of technology is, is uh, Fifth Element, where there's, there's like a salt shaker, and she like just shakes a thing onto a plate and puts it in the microwave, and it's like a full turkey with like vegetables and stuff i'm like that's what we need that'd be amazing <laughs> like tv dinner out of a salt shaker just mm-hmm. and know, yeah. yeah and then it's, <laughs> it's like, like what steak are, and like what happens if i see uh you know like you loosen much. like you loosen the cap on him that's ah oh, oh. yeah it's like 500 turkey dinner <laughs> that's how you die <laughs> it's like another put another like, tur- turkey suffocation <laughs> <laughs> what do we got here gordon <laughs> uh looks like a, one of those run-of-the-mill turkey suffocations Damn stouffer's it. needs to <laughs> 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 <Damn you> stouffer's. <laughs> they need to do something better with this maybe salt shaker wasn't the best form of of deliverance <laughs> what delivery else they delivery sell? they sell it in like little Deliverance. like dime bags <laughs> yeah there we go <laughs> there you go <laughs> and maybe that'll be maybe if that ever comes to be it'll be like the new drug like you have like kids snorting it well there's powdered alcohol now like well well there's powdered alcohol there's vaporized al- like you can almost what's, ta- what's you can take alcohol in pretty much any that form that vaporized stuff is awful have you ever had it before no i went to this i went to this a gay club called Sparky's here and they they have it in like whipped cream form so instead of like the way they serve it is they have these little tiny like ice cream cones and they just put like <laughs> it was awful I'm like how do I how do I what, what do I do with this I mean because it was it's good like and it's, three four inches and it's alcohol it's yeah the, like the whipped cream is yeah. alcohol well, you're in a gay club you're and supposed just, to lick it no, I was just like, how am I supposed to eat this? Like, oh, just put it in your mouth. So, like, jam this whole thing in my mouth. I'm, like, gagging because it tastes <laughs> so, like Listerine and rumple mints and oh. candy. And See, Jimmy, would, is, eat, Jimmy is, would eat that. Where is this? Like, <laughs> mint is awesome. It's the best say, thing we have a bottle You, you want to go to Sparky's? It's, uh, it's by no. Zach. Hey, he's got I don't, the beard. I don't like going places, though. That <laughs> He's got the beard. He'd probably fit in. There you go. Yeah. You're covering I, for somebody. I, I can fit in anyway. Uh, oh, I get it. Uh, so um, it was like mint chocolate chip ice cream and alcohol. Dope. Like two of my two favorite things. No. Yeah. They do not mix. Well, there's that. Uh, have you ever watched Parks and Rec? Yeah. They they went to that bar and they had all these weird ways of this eating. This is the like, wrong way to consume alcohol. <laughs> yeah. They had to like crack the balls. <laughs> yeah. That smell, that smell the stuff that comes out of it. <laughs> that's that's funny. Um, yeah. I'm trying to. Let's see. What else? Uh, Halloween's coming up. Yeah. I don't know if you're looking for a new topic or you're uh, <laughs> you might yeah, was, back uh, to the future. Well, yeah, we went through. They got a lot of stuff right, kind of. So good good on them. It's one of my favorite movie series. So. Uh, any Halloween plans across the board here? Nope. Working. I, I've already bought candy and started eating it. <laughs> <That's my laughs> you started that's your celebration. Candy again. <laughs> you started a celebration early. The grocery stores have now aisles of candy, so I, <laughs> <laughs> I got a couple bags and was eating them. So is it like on Halloween, you're just going to actually just dress up and just sit, in the, <laughs> sit here and just eat candy? And and sit at home and alone, cry. eat candy. That's what I'm going to do. Cry and eat almond <laughs> joys. <Yeah. laughs> yep, that's me. Stop at the grocery stores next to my work on the way home, get all the sale candy. Mm-hmm. I'm great. Like as soon as it hits midnight, like mark it down. Yep. Like, <laughs> Put up the Christmas fine. stuff. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's yeah, that's gonna happen. But yeah, no, you plans. Uh, what do you, party like? I guess I, normal people my age go to like Halloween party. parties. I mean, yeah. I haven't been to a house party in like three years. Yeah. So. Me I, neither. I, I don't know. I mean, we can make <laughs> one happen. All right, Jimmy, we're having oh. a house party here. <laughs> Whose house are you going to use? Because 
you can use mine. You know, we oh, can we, we can other other <laughs> houses. But then, oh yeah, your parents are gone, right? Yeah. Oh God, don't tell people about my parents, man. Come on. <laughs> you're, fa- you're you're faceless. We're not we're not streaming Shit. here. We didn't even say your last name. Yeah. Pat. I will <laughs> kick you in the throat, man. Um, I'll do it. No. Uh, yeah, we could either do it there or in gym. I got keys to another place, too. Oh, <laughs> shit, son. Uh, well, one thing we should look out for, we should get a telescope, because there's a meteorite. Gonna be All right, passing. next topic, I guess. You know, that's why I brought up Halloween. Ha. Well, it's going to be happening on Halloween. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so we could all die. No, we we could have died. Well... <laughs> It could change directions <laughs> and kill us all. It, there has to be something. Ac- Before we get into it, uh, on October 11th, a, uh, NASA, I think, or Kepler detected that there is a meteorite mm-hmm. heading towards the Earth. It's only going to miss us by some odd 300,000 miles. Is it a meteorite? Or asteroid. 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 Um, right. It isn't a meteorite until it hits the Earth. Until it hits the Earth. Boosh. All right. Ass. <laughs> um, I don't know if we want to listen to which, listen to these uninformed facts. Which I mean, and the moon <laughs> the moon is only two hundred ninety thousand miles away. So this only, yeah. relatively this is still pretty close Chum-chum. to us. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's gonna miss us. You know, we're gonna be fine. Maybe fingers crossed. I Everyone, get your I shelters. I did see a black That's cat today. Start buying canned food and bottled water. We're all gonna die. <laughs> what good? You know, this thing's like apparently the size of like the Empire State Building. Yeah, I don't think food and water are gonna help you in an extinction level event. Well, I mean, and dig a hole in your backyard. <laughs> well, if you just dig a, a hole, you'll be fine. <laughs> dig a hole, cover the cover yourself in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> let it let it let it rain over you. Yeah. Dig uh, a hole just um, large enough for your head. But yeah, what what <laughs> what's kind of concerning about the whole thing was that they didn't see it until ten days before it was supposed to get mm-hmm. here. So yeah. So like, well, how many other things are we just not seeing that are just gonna basically come out of nowhere? Yeah. No. I've. I mean, I've, I've had a lot. I've heard that before that we're like asteroids and whatnot pass by us like every day. Mm-hmm. We just don't know it. Yeah. So one of these days, one of these huge ass things is just gonna like, oh, we have a uh, one day and it's gonna hit us and yeah. we're all basically fucked. Well, when it happens, yeah, we're <laughs> we're not gonna like, survive. It's it's happened before, like dinosaurs. That's how dinosaurs. But they didn't have any way to i guess we don't really have a way of knowing either like 10 days isn't enough to save humanity well i mean imagine on like october 11th they're like yeah there's a asteroid heading here and if it it's gonna hit us in 10 days like what would you do with your last 10 days yeah like, like if they knew for sure that it was gonna hit like what would like what would i want i want to go around here that's that's yeah that's like, like what would one you of those good questions your last 10 days if like they knew for sure i definitely wouldn't go to work because i work at a liquor store <laughs> Yeah. I bet that you, you probably just gonna be get so, robbed. Yeah, yeah, there you're gonna be some. <laughs> well, maybe you should be the first person in there <laughs> and just take all the good stuff. For She's it. gonna get robbed. <laughs> oh yeah, um, that's um, er, almost everyone's immediate reaction. It's like I'm gonna get world's about to end. I'm gonna get blackout get drunk. Wasted, and just <laughs> screw everybody. <laughs> yeah. I would. Well, like, oh. <laughs> literally or figuratively, I, like, I could call somebody and be like, I'm not giving you that $5 back. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no! <laughs> or like one of their last things, like to definitely get $5 from you. So <laughs> like bring bring guns and knives and right. get that from you. The whole time everybody's like mid-coitus, like calling people. <laughs> Completely awkward. God, that was... <laughs> I get... I can just imagine getting like some frantic phone call from like a relative or something. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. I just wanted to say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> Grandma. Uh, no. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I oh, went there. They, oh no. You make your you make your rounds and so you're like, like, oh grandma no. I called mid coitus. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Um, but I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I do anything crazy. Uh, I mean, I'm not that I, kind of person. I, I, I don't I, think I, that would make it me i mean i think i'm right up there even though i think we would technically still have to work <laughs> the people need to know like, because we're in the because you know we were like if the there's business we technically probably still have to be at work but i think i'd just be like f that i, I think i probably work. still would go to work like because <laughs> like oh you're well, gonna, like, unfortunately you're gonna i think i'm that kind of person that would still do that got nothing else like, I, <laughs> like oh uh, you'll get a you know double time for this like 
I'm gonna be dead. <laughs> it's like an off like, week. I don't get paid till the week after like, this. You'll, you'll get way more than like yeah. Like our company's still so stingy that it's still just double time. They wouldn't even yeah. offer us more. They wouldn't lie to us. Like we don't want to set that president <laughs> just in case. Like imagine being the producer that's having to make the like the supers for these like world ending and. Well, if there was <laughs> if there was definitely no chance of survival, like Earth well, is gonna get for, destroyed. For a couple of jobbers like us, there's no chance of survival. Hmm. Oh yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's like, like Richard <laughs> I'm sure Branson. Like, I'm sure there's like shelters for like the elite. Oh. they can get out. And okay. Survive, yeah, there's but... well, there are shelters. Like you always hear, like there's that movie like Doomsday Preppers. Yeah. That people have like made these crazy elaborate bunkers and stuff. No, yeah, but for normal sle- schleps like the three of us, we're we're like we don't have a safe zone. Yeah. I don't think. Well, no, like if Earth was getting destroyed, like the planet will no longer be, then no, I wouldn't go to work, <laughs> but. Like, cause like, why? Who cares? Like it's, it's over. Um, but I don't know if I'd do anything crazy. I don't know if it'd be like anarchy, like the raid type thing. Like everyone's just going out murdering people and Probably. stuff. I'm sure there will be, but I don't know if I would do it. <laughs> I, would. I don't know if I want to have anyone. I don't know if I want to murder anyone. Uh, I don't see the appeal of it. It's <laughs> like, we're all going to die anyway. <laughs> Give the dude the, the last four days. It'd be yeah. all right. <laughs> Or maybe I would. Maybe it'll just yeah, like that you, flip. Will, that switch will be flipped in me, and I'll just kill it. Maybe instead of like actively murdering somebody, you just like trip somebody and just be like, <laughs> like ah, my one act die. of rebellion. <laughs> right. like you're gonna, yeah. the one bad thing I've ever done like in my as life. As you see, like the, the asteroid trip, trip like coming, somebody. like or I guess the meteor right now. As you see it coming down, like you're it's all not a meteorite to watch it. Hits. It has to yeah. hit the Earth. It hits like the you, Earth, and then it's a meteorite till it's an asteroid. Well, you see the asteroid coming in, and like you're all trying to run away from it, and you just like trip somebody as they're running like you're gonna die before me <laughs> i don't have to outrun the asteroid i just have to outrun you like no that's not how it works that's not, no, not applicable, not keep, not ta- applicable. keep talking to the ground i'm already this is my <laughs> final victory <laughs> i win yeah Death. I, I mean definitely most definitely not go to work i mean and if it was like and I think our rents do then too. I probably no. wouldn't pay rent. No, I wouldn't do that either. <laughs> like, no, I wouldn't I, study for this midterm I've got tomorrow. No, absolutely. <laughs> like, I wouldn't do like, anything important. No, I wouldn't. No, like no obligations are gonna like force me to do anything. Yeah, no, I agree. And I, I mean, if anything, I'd probably go contact like, family. Yeah, contact family. That's, that's my. I don't know if I'd make the trip. Say I, my goodbyes. I don't, know if I, I don't know if I'd make like the trek up there to go see them. Just because I think everybody is going to be like panicking and trying to go somewhere. Yeah, which like that. Why? Why? It's like, <laughs> you're, you're not going to be safe <laughs> no matter what you do. Stop it. Yeah. Get just, off the highway. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's maybe not people doing like trying to get away from the <laughs> the impact or whatever. They're probably just trying to go to family as well. Yeah. I, I assume a lot of people would. I'd make phone calls. I'd, I'd just stay home, call people, be like, hey, uh. Have a good time. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here and eat gummy worms, and yeah, smoke like, some pot, and just wait this out. Yeah, you <laughs> give them like the surfers yeah, like, yeah. over the phone. Hang ten, Bye. bro. <laughs> gonna go surfing on the cosmos. <sighs> yeah, but I don't know. That's yeah, I mean, I'd probably if it's gonna happen, I guess I'll find out. But I don't probably do like in 1408. Just have like a cigarette behind my ear, and like by the time it happens. It's what is it? Smoke. In the movie 1408, the guy thinks he's going to die all the time, so he keeps a cigarette behind his ear. Oh, just for that. Yeah. That's the one with the uh, that's the hotel room or something yeah. that's haunted. John or Cusack. John Cusack. Favorite John Cusack movies. Go. High Fidelity. Say uh, anything. Never saw it. That's the one with where he's I holding the boombox. Yeah, I've never well, seen it. I just what never if seen it. <laughs> it's bad. Brandy just has no idea. Who John uh, Cusack Hot Tub is. Time Machine. What else was he in? Not, just not a fan. Not a fan of John mm. Cusack. Know, is there one where he dies? Uh, Did he die in 1408? Uh, in one of the endings of 1408, he dies. Oh, I think I saw that one. Yeah. That one? No, not your favorite. <laughs> um, <laughs> speaking of... Dying. <laughs> What? Star Wars. <laughs> speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of movies and things in outer space. Star Wars. Are you not a fan of Star Wars? No, I'm a fan of Star oh, Wars. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, well, yeah, the new one, the full trailer finally came out, and I wanted to not watch it. I wanted to stop watching anything Star Wars until the movie came out, but I was forced to 
because of my job. Like they kept showing <laughs> clips and clips of it. So, but it's looks good. It's happening. I mean, nothing is going to stop it from coming out. Pre-sale yeah. tickets are already being sold for the the showings already, yeah. mm-hmm. and it's not until December eighteenth. So, I don't know if I'll be at the midnight for that. I'm not. I don't no. feel like, you know, fighting. I think See, midnight literally for anything are just always a catastrophe. It's yeah, yeah I, too I, many people. I just don't feel like fighting everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I'll the go see it like San Antonio. a month and a half later mm-hmm. in the middle of the day. <laughs> yeah. We don't have to deal it. with anybody. Yeah, I, yeah, I'll, I'll see it. I, that, that's one of the movies I, I'll I probably mean, see I'll, in theaters. But I'll I'm see it probably gonna. before right. a month and a half in, but I'll, I'll wait like two weeks. Mm-hmm. Just I'll wait. I'll wait two weeks Just and then some go see it in the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. catch like a Wednesday matinee or something. Yeah, the best time to see movies is when like it's just you in the theaters. I mean, well, that's the kind or of cra- that's group. the kind of crappy thing though. Is that by around December eighteenth is uh, when schools are going to be letting out, so then you're going to have to deal with all the kids and high schoolers and well, like, uh, well, even if damn, well, kids. I mean, you always have to deal with. You like, don't even know what Star Wars is. <laughs> shut I up. had it on beta. <laughs> shut, like, Laser disc. Shut up, old man. That's what they say to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> beat me up. Probably. Pull, out, beat probably. Up pull out their their lead pipes and chains that all teenagers have, and just <laughs> because now life is like Mad Max. <laughs> yeah, all of exactly. a sudden, yeah. they're wearing. That's why jackets. I don't go outside because I I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to meet a group of teenagers walking down the street with lead pipes and <laughs> chains. Just swinging the chains. <laughs> oh, Mad Max. Yeah. Sure, your road, guess everybody's having chrome spray paint. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's not that's it that's was a documentary. A- you know, if uh, if the uh, it's the real future, they just went out and filmed it. Yeah, they, they're like, this is just one the of the things that happens. Cause an extinction level event, which is going to be Mad Max. Maybe. Like, is yeah. there going to be a group of people at the end of the world? Be like, all right, what fictional series should we follow for the end of the world? <laughs> ooh, ooh, me, pick ooh, me, 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 pick me, pick me, 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 me. So. Shut up, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> no one wants to do Water World. <laughs> We can't even do Water World. <laughs> There's no fucking water. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dang it. I wanted a pontoon boat. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, that, I don't even know how that would <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know where we're going with this anymore. Yeah, I don't know either. I but mean, I, I'm excited for Star Wars. Uh, yeah. I'll watch it. I do I like that that's series. That's the extent of how excited that can be. It's not as good as Star Trek, but, but I'll still watch Star it. Star Trek is God awful. Star Trek is way better than Star Wars. Third party. You what can do you leave think? now. <laughs> we're gonna. I think we're gonna I argue. might just. <laughs> I'll take that as a Star Trek. She's dead. All right, two to one. <laughs> two to one. Star Trek. Uh, Star Trek wins. Yeah, I mean, I just recently watched uh, a New Hope uh, here a few days ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I haven't gone back and watched those movies in a while. I probably should at some point, just to get I mean, ready. It's not for this like movie. it's a real complicated story to catch up on. It. it yeah. It's. It's every story. Vader's Luke's father. Spoilers. Oh no! Jerk. Because you know nobody knows that <sighs> ever. I thought that I thought every, when everyone said that it was just a joke, like that was the <laughs> that's why it's, that's <laughs> Vader was just screwing with him. Well, no, when <laughs> <laughs> he's like talking to the Emperor later, he totally bought it, man. He started <laughs> screaming and he jumped down this hole. It was great. <laughs> but yeah, I'll, I'll watch it and I hope it's good. I I don't want it to be bad. Because <laughs> I, I don't like going to see, wanting to go see a movie, and, turn, and then it turns out to be bad. I also do not like seeing bad movies. <laughs> oh, I, so there's, th- there's two of us. I, too, right. share this opinion. I, oh, I wonder if it's, it's not, I guess it's a universal thing. That's a great movie I saw. What it? Yeah. I just like anyway. Last uh, movie I saw in theaters, I think, was Jurassic World. I saw that one. Mm-hmm. I think Ant-Man was the last one I saw in theaters. No, yeah, I never, I didn't see that in theaters. Oh no, I did see that in theaters. Okay, Ant Man. I mean, uh, as far as movies coming out in theaters are concerned, the last Daniel Craig's uh, Bond film, Spectre, Spectre is coming out. It's either already out or it's coming out very soon. I don't know if I like these new Bond movies. I watch them, but I don't know if I like them. I think it's I miss the humor of like the older ones. But Daniel Craig. Dude is a silver fox, all right? Uh, well, I mean, is he considered well, goes how, old is he? Ladies. how old is he? I don't know, he's got to be what, like in his late 40s, early 50s. Is that silver fox age-ish <laughs> now? I guess He's so. old enough to be my dad. I'm still kind of into it. Okay, that came out really <laughs> <Whoa>. bad. <laughs> all right. 
<laughs> All right. All right. Got the time. <laughs> we got the highlight. Let's well, go ahead and uh, put I guess. Guess. I'll be going. Though. Go ahead and make a time stamp 50, for that. 53, 54. That, I'll remember that. So <laughs> that'll be one of the little clips that we play in the beginning of the episode. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> On repeat. I'm excited. I mean, no, just I, make that the intro song. I can edit it to make it really bad and sound really bad. I think I did that myself. I think you could. My dad, I'm into it. <laughs> My dad, I'm into it. Um, I mean, I, yes. I mean, I, guess it, he I is. mean, it's pretty well known that Brandy watches most movies with earphones in. Anyway, hmm? pardon? What? You watch a lot of movies with that aren't particular. Like, I'm pretty sure you like watched. Uh, was it? You told me you watched Arrow just for the fact that. Oh shit! Yeah, I watched that on mute. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's the saying. You watch well, it on mute. Yeah, watch it on that's, mute. That's their fault for having so many gratuitous shirtless workout scenes. <laughs> if so, they didn't see, want me to look, I guess that's why. Because I think Arrow's for tweens. I'm not saying you're a tween, but I think it. That's the yeah, audience I'm it like appeals 12, to. Twelve. So. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, but that's who I think that show appeals to. I guess. That's My seventy-one-year-old neighbor is the one that got me into it. Really? Because she pointed out all the shirtless <laughs> <laughs> workout scenes. Just sitting on your porch one day, and she's all like, "You know what? What show has a lot of shirtless yeah. <laughs> workout scenes?" I'm talking about man meat. <laughs> Watch this movie Arrow. on the CW. Arrow. It's like, oh, I didn't know you're a fan, fan of comic books. It's like, I'm like it's I, a comic. I'm What's not. a comic book? <laughs> Um, I I I think it is time for Craig to move on though. I mean, he said it himself that he'd rather slit his own wrist than do another Bond movie. Yeah. So good. I, I, I hope who else is gonna. I don't who's think ready to fill the shoes. Yeah, I hope they go back to like having it funny, funnier stuff. Like I like the cheesiness of the older ones, but whatever. Just a little bit of campy. Yeah. Bring everybody like, together. Why make everything? When, why whenever they make new movies, it always has to be gritty. Well, it's just mm. it's just how it is now, though. I know. Because it's they should change to watch it. stuff explode. Yeah, well, there could be an explosions, yeah. but have them say a funny one-liner after the explosion. It's like, I guess that's one way to lose your head. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's like a funny little one-liner, not just not just walk away I, from I, it. I really wish they'd reconsider and put uh, Idris Elba as the new Bond. I think he'd do really well. He's, he'd be fine. There's a lot of actors that'll do fine as Bond. You just have, like, as long as you can, like, be suave... I mean, I don't. Th- I I couldn't see like David Tennant being James Bond. I could. I I don't think that no. would work. Yeah, he could be. He'll he'll be fine. No, no, he wouldn't be fine. He'd be fine. Like what, it like, wouldn't. What, what, it would have to be like, a different. Bo- it can't. He can't be Daniel Craig Bond. What would you, but he can what, be. We're talking about your one liners. Like if Dan, if David Tennant played Bond, if he like, beat someone to death with a clock, he's like wibbly wobbly, timey wimey, and just walked oh. off. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, there'd have to be some callback humor to Doctor Who, just because that's <laughs> who he is. Reach for well, he was really good in Broad uh, Broadchurch. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's done other he things. He's he's good. the bad guy in Jessica Jones, so mm-hmm. he can play other things other than Doctor Who. He played yeah. Barty he's Crouch in the Harry Potter movies. Yeah, for like what ten minutes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was <laughs> licked his lips a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I could I could see I could see a lot of people like, but I don't know. It's it just depends yeah, on. I, I've heard something. About I guess uh, Rupert Grint there might be is that James a, Bond, a Harry Potter character. Uh, Ron. He's the guy that played Ron. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, a uh, redheaded James Bond. I could see that too. I don't. I've never seen him do anything other than Harry Potter stuff. So I don't know. <laughs> Brandy's just giving me like the stink eye. What's over wrong there. with gingers? Plenty wrong. <laughs> But moving on, we'll talk about that. <laughs> That's a conversation for another podcast. <laughs> we'll talk about that next week. <laughs> <laughs> next week, what's wrong with gingers? <laughs> Specifically one in particular <laughs> who I <laughs> I don't know if is going to be here next week or not. <laughs> I'll stab you. <laughs> I will help. help <laughs> that's, what's, that's what's wrong with gingers. Damn it. <laughs> like we've successfully tied Brandy up and now we're going to talk shit about gingers. <laughs> um, let's see. Anything else before we end? We've gone about an hour. Brandy, you said you had a rant about something. No, no, I just have to pee. Like 30 no, minutes. She has a rant about how great Hillary Clinton is. <laughs> a 30 minute rant that you know. said you just wanted to bust out at some point. D- yeah, no, that's me. She wanted um, to spit some verse. <laughs> wanted to I'm lay some shade. I'm a slam poet. Uh, I spit shade. But, uh. Does all those things. <laughs> yep, I do those things. It's like, all right, and here I go. 
but I mostly have to pee. Okay, so. you can't you can't spit shade whenever no, you, you have that. You can't no, you can't spit shade and pee. It's impossible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can. They're they're just not <laughs> copacetic. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. It didn't work. Like that part of your brain is it, that for slam poetry is also the part of your brain you need to go to yeah, the bathroom. It's actually with. the only thing I remember my, from my bio- biology class. <laughs> that one fact mm-hmm. that I made up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Uh, you? you can't rhyme and pee at the same time. <laughs> Seriously, try it. Thanks, public school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, all right, but yeah, that's gonna be our episode. Uh, make sure to follow us on t- Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, all that stuff. New episodes every Monday. We stream most some of our epi- yeah. Most of our episodes will will stream. Uh, continue to follow uh, Travel Red Class. He's doing some updates. And yeah, the, on Facebook, I just saw he posted a video. He's still two or three weeks, so we'll, he'll be posting on his Twitter, which should we should have links for it and everything. Yeah, on, on, website. on the website. Uh, let, logical.com, you'll find those links and all the links to everything. But uh, yeah, that's episode 88 of Thinking Outside the Pod. Yeah.